Last time we learned what GitHub Actions is. Now it's time to get our hands dirty. Welcome back. Today we are building our very first GitHub Actions workflow, step by step. Imagine this. Every time you push code, your tests run automatically. No forgetting to run them manually. That's the power of automation. It's like having a tiny robot assistant who never sleeps and works for you and that too free. Okay, so this is my GitHub repository. So firstly, what I'll do is I'll clone this code locally. And as you can see here, I have that same repo and I'm currently on the main branch. So let's just switch to a new branch. I'll name the branch as first ML. And then let's create a folder dot github. Don't forget the dot because without this, the magic won't work. Let's create another folder inside it and name it as workflows. Let's add a file inside this folder and let's name the file as hello.yaml. And let's just add a code snippet. You can use the same code snippet. I'll add it in the description as well. Okay, so here it is. So as you can see, it has a few things. Let's see one by one, like what are all these? So firstly, we have name. So this is just giving your workflow a cool name. I have named it as my first workflow. You can name whatever you want to. And then there is on. So this means like you are telling GitHub when you want this particular workflow to be triggered. So I have used push. So on every push of a code, this particular GitHub Actions job will be triggered. Next, we have job. Think of jobs as the things we want to do. So currently we have one here, which is build. You can even rename the job. So next is runs on. So this is our virtual machine on which this job will be running. So I have used Ubuntu latest for now. Next, we have a few steps. So firstly, this particular step, what it does is it checks out the whole code on the VM on which we can now perform uh, testing or deployment or whatever we want to. And for the next step, I have keep it simple just to echo or log uh, hello GitHub action. So let's save this file and let's let's just commit this to GitHub. So git add all git commit m hello.yaml and then I'll do a git push. Now I have pushed this to GitHub. Let's go to GitHub dashboard on the web browser and click on compare and pull request. Now we can rename this pull request as first GitHub actions and I click on create pull request. So now as you can see, we have one successful check. Let's click on it. And as you can see, like here, my first workflow, that job was triggered and currently passed. Let's open it in a new tab. So these are all the steps of GitHub Actions. So firstly, it has set up the job. It has pulled all our code and it has run a script. Let's see what's inside this. So as you can see, hello GitHub Actions. So this is what we wanted to go. So congrats, you just automated your first task. You are officially a GitHub magician. In the next one, we are breaking down on YAML even more. So if it looks like a riddle, don't worry, we've got you. If this helped you, smash the like button, subscribe and comment below.